Alright, so I'm going to continue to uh, try to find a shovel. I'm not finding a shovel here. Um, there's evidently an activity giver to the southeast. So I'm going to go in that direction. Oh, and what's all this over here? Some sort of settlement. I'm not seeing an entrance. Discovered the baths. Oh, nice. door. Oh, it says a pri it's a private area. Easy to pick. Alright, steal all that. What do you want? You've no business here. Alright, I'm leaving. <laughs> We're just looking for a bath. It says you're trespassing. What's in here? Anything good? Wine and mead. Carrot. Oh, lots of goodies in that one. Very hard, but I have no um, no lock picks. Holy mackerel! There's a lot of stuff in that one. Uh, trying to go through the door. So I was looking for a bath. I thought this was the bath. But I don't see any bath in here. <laughs> Look around here. Hello, chickies. So, wonder what happens if I hit a chicken. Can't. Uh, I cannot hit the chicken.
still have not found a shovel. This is a very disappointing bath. Is this the... Oh, a bath mate. Ah! Why, why would you go, ah, just because I'm trying to talk to you? Not this stuff again. Uh, how's life in Ratai? What's life like in Ratai? Ratai. Good. Or it was. Till the refugees came. Still, we're better off here than most places. Have you heard anything about those Cumans? Have you heard anything about the Cumans in Sigismund's army? Terrible things. Horrible. I hear they skin people alive and what they do to the women folk. Better take your own life than fall into their hands. Beasts they are. Animals. Wow. <clears throat> they sound really bad. Okay. So... No shovels around here. That's locked. Where's the bath? No bath and no shovel. You people are worthless. Oh, is this a bath? No, that's just a, tr a trough, right? But I mean, clearly this is the bath, right? Open there. Are Brays in there? What? I don't know what that. I don't know what a bray is. What's a bray? Uh oh. I thought I was stuck for a minute. I want to take a bath! Nothing there. So it's you're in a private area. Well, that means we have to be secret and stealthy. Nothing in there. Yeah, but where's the bath? How is it? I want a bath. This is the bath. I was told this was the bath. It's a shame that I do not have a lock pink. And it's a shame that I cannot find the bath in the baths. Maybe this is the bath? No, this doesn't even seem to have a door. Where's the door? Oh, that's like a hay shed or something, right? All right, let's go further south because the activity giver is further south. It's getting quite dark. Am I hungry? No, my nourishment's at 93, so I don't have to worry about that right at the moment. Did I tell you about my wife's lace making? No, I didn't know she did that. She only started not long ago. Always in the evening, while there's still a bit of light, she sits down and gets on with it. And she's quite deft at it by now. I'm not surprised. Betty was always good with her hands. You're right there. Anyway... I showed a couple of pieces she made last time to old Tonda from Tabor, the one I buy goods from. And he said, right away, you'll take them, and how much do I want for them? Well, now. I was surprised myself, but I wasn't sure Betty would even want to sell them. So I asked for a high price, and he says, that's fine, and started counting out the coin there and then. Just like that? What I heard about him, he's a right skinflint. And what did Betty have to say? She was well pleased, as you can imagine. 
Even more when I told her Tonda will take everything she makes. That's great. A bit of extra coin never hurts. Hello. Hey, hey, hey. Can I talk to you, please? Jesus Christ be praised. Yes, yes. Jesus Christ be praised. You fight for coin? Are you the brawler who takes bets? What's it to you? I'm a Scalitz refugee and I'd like to try my luck against you. Hang on, I know who you are. And I'll only fight you for silver. Got it? Why silver? Why for silver? Do I really have to tell you? Look at yourself and then look at the others. All they've got to wager is their labour. But you, you've got coin. What are the rules? Are there any rules? Aye, a couple. Whoever lands on his arse or runs, loses. And no knives, axes or any of that shit. You'll forfeit your wager for that, got it? Hmm. I don't want, I don't want to uh, gamble my money right now because I suck. Maybe when I'm better at fighting. <laughs> About Reptile. How is life in Reptile? What's life like in Reptile? We got sturdy walls and two castles to protect us. There's not many towns of that, and we got everything we need here. We got an apothecary, a swordsmith, an armourer. We got a beautiful church and a fine alehouses. All that, huh? Sounds like a nice place. Now, if you could just point me to a shovel. All right, I got new. Is it A? It says beat Milan, beat Stephen, and beat Ringlet. Yeah. Tanner. Okay, Mill. Dead Man's Ring or Miller Beshek. It's getting dark though. I should. Uh, I don't know. I guess I should go sleep because it's just very uh, uh, dark at night. But then, hmm. Night is a good time for thieving, so I don't have uh, any lockpicks. So I'm just going to go back and sleep. So that would be... Back this way, I do believe. Can I put a mark here? Oh, I can fast travel. Okay, yeah, let's do that. Let's go to the mill. Those apples are right where I left them. I guess I shall pick up my trash. <laughs> Maybe I can even sell them. Who knows? Okay. Hmm. Not hungry. So there's two beds in here. Hmm, I wonder who sleeps in the other one. Okay, let's sleep. Uh, 
Summon hour should do. Comfort, 80%. Nourishment, 82. Energy, 95. Energy, 100 now. Health, 100. It's morning now. What's Teresa? She's sleeping. Firefly? I didn't think that those it came out in the mornings. I thought that I'd never seen them in the mornings. I always saw them in the evenings. Uh. Baths, Tanner. Right, let's fast travel to the baths if we can. Not letting us, however. Okay. I'm just gonna go. Hmm, which way do I go? Mm, this way. La di da di di, la di da di da. It's the morning the time. La di da di di, la di da di da. It's the morning in the day. Hey, hey, hey. It's the morning in the day. Hey, hey. It's morning in the day. That's the baths where the tad doesn't have a bath for me. There's no place I can take a bath. Even though I tried. There's some food, but I'm not hungry. Let's go see what these buildings are over here. Come on, you can do it, Henry. Young, strapping lad. Any shovels here? <coughs> ah, pigs. Hello, doggy. Doggy, dog, dog, doggy. locked mm -hmm. 
marigold. Hmm. Not a perk stein, it seems sort of adding. Well, I seem to be fairly close to this location, so I guess I will go here if I can figure out how to get in there. I will continue. Hmm, uh, privy. Townswoman. I don't see any shovels. Oh no, this looks like a bath. Has something happened? No, could you give me a bath, please? <laughs> could I have a bath? Has something happened? No. Why are you so upset? Yeah, I don't want to ask her about Ratai. Ratai, as he says. As Henry says. He says Ratai. Looks like there's a road right up there. Okay. Let's go along this path. And we will look for a way to get up there and see fish trap. I discovered a fish trap. Can I get some fish? I don't see a fish trap here. I see like some little bucket. Unless this is the fish trap. <laughs> I don't know what a fish trap looks like. place. I guess I'm just going the wrong way. Let's look at the map. Hmm. I mean, it definitely looks like there's an entrance there. So I'm thinking I need to go the other way. Uh, the terrain, the scenery, the foliage, it looks so real. They did such a good job on this. Oh, stop running because I'm bleeding my stamina.
need to get more stamina, Henry. Or a horse. A horse would be good. We had a horse once, and it was taken from us. So I can go this way. Oh, that's Milan. Are you serious? Are you serious? About what, dude? What are you so serious about? I'm just, like, you know, trying to get up the hill. Going about my business. Minding my own business. You discovered fast travel point. Alright. And a cutscene. Halt. Who are you and where are you going? Um. I'm Henry. Son of the Scallops Blacksmith. <laughs> I'm going to see my liege, Sir Radzik Kabila of Dvoyets. Of course you are, lad. And I'm the Pope. What do you want from his lordship? And what makes you think he'll see you? Oh, why are you standing inside of me? Alright, let's see. I'm Sir Radzik's blacksmith. Come on, I'm not some peasant. I'm Sir Radzik's blacksmith and I need to speak with him. It's my job to stop you. Now bugger off. I have to tell Sir Radz what happened to his sword. I may not look the part, but I know about honour and duty. And mine is to tell Sir Radzik what happened to the sword he commissioned. All right, then. Go ahead. It'll be your skin if Sir Radzik isn't pleased. Uh. Put the weapon away. That's forbidden here. Mm. What are you playing at with that weapon? Get, get out of me. We discovered camp. Mm hmm. I need to be able to zoom in closer because um, no. Because I can't see anything. I don't have enough detail. I'm guessing I'm gonna go this way. I hope the guards are not going to stand inside of me this time. Could that be the smith's son, Hal? On my soul. It is him. What are you doing here, lad? We thought you were done for. Uh, I'm going to see Sir Radzig. I must speak with Sir Radzig. Is he here? He's in the palace with Sir Hanush of Ratai. They're feasting in the knight's hall. What do you want with him? My father made him a sword. He, um, he asked me to deliver it to Sir Radzig. I don't see any sword. No. Bandits attacked me and stole it. I need to tell his lordship what happened. And then I'm going to find the sword. Of course you are, Hal. Good luck. Thanks. What is it? No. I have nothing to say to you. Excuse me. 
Excuse me. Mm, that door seems locked. Hey. Mm. Says you're in a private area. What the hell? Yeah, what the? Let's see, what, is there anything we can steal in here? Nice view. pick anything because I don't have a lock pick. That's very regrettable. Huh. I guess they didn't believe in uh, having doors on your privy. <laughs> Maybe I should try it going into here. That's locked. But this is not. This looks it's a pig place. Okay. I think I need to go up higher, unless it's this way. Don't just teleport here. What the hell? Dude. Yeah, what the hell? What the hell, dude? What are you doing? I'm trying to find Sir Rad's egg. Because you're in a private area. Locked. Locked. Nope. It's locked. Then I can take the onions. And the cabbage. Mm, this looks like apples. lockpick very easy. Oh, if it's easy, then I don't have to have a lockpick. It would seem. This one's hard, okay. You men are like little kids. <laughs> what? what the hell are you doing? Um. Jeez. Oh, look at all that food. Alright, 
Let's leave. I don't really want to rob food. There's not a good return on the the risk reward ratios. It's not very good. After all, you don't want to be locked up for stealing food. What? So I'm thinking. Oh, what's in here? It's the pig. You want pigs? Thinking I gotta go further up. To try to find the rad thing. This door looks ostentatious enough, right? Another privy. You learned Sir Hamish of Lipa. Your graces. I have to tell you in all seriousness that this land of ours is in the shit. Deep fucking shit. Don't you agree? I might not have put it as eloquently as you, Hanush, but I've been driven out of my own castle, so I'm hardly going to disagree. Indeed. But Pitchstein is yours for as long as you need it. There's room enough for your men and you here at Ratte, and I'm sure my ward won't have any objection to me lending you his castle. I'd be honoured. Pechstein is at your disposal as long as you wish, Your Grace. Just as well you have another castle at the other end of town, eh? <laughs> ah, at any rate, I'm beholden to you, Sir Hans, and to you, Sir Hanosh. Mm. I don't like to speak ill of your people, Sir Radzik, but, well... There's no love lost between the townsfolk and the refugees. There's been talk of criminality. No, they'll have to get used to it until the situation's resolved. But when will it be resolved? And what on God's earth is this war even about? I won't lie, sir. I don't understand it. You aren't alone, father. I believe Sigismund's original intention was to persuade Wenceslas to accept the imperial crown and to leave the rule of Bohemia to him. Well, who could blame him? I know Wenceslas is a friend of yours, Radzig, but even you have to admit he brought it upon himself. I can't deny the king neglected affairs of state for other pursuits. There is a need for order in the land, but I don't think the lords who sided with Sigismund realized just what Hungarian order looks like. <laughs> Hungarian order? <laughs> what concerns me, sir, is how a good Christian could resort to such brutality. To give him his due, I don't think he expected the lords of this country to stand behind the king. But thanks to him, we're tearing ourselves apart, and now he has to get things under control. But why in God's name does he have to use those barbarians? Money is the root of all evil, young sir. Wars are costly, and this one has dragged on for a year. Sigismund ran out of coin for knights, so he recruited those whore sons that settled in Hungary. The less he pays the more they make up for it with plunder. That's why he attacked us. He was after our silver. What are you doing? You have no business here. Clear off. Wait, it's Henry. Henry, who disappeared after I clearly ordered him to remain at Taunberg. I'm sorry, sir, but I had to bury my parents. Had to? Do you think you were the only man who lost someone there? But the others listened to their lord. And it wasn't just your own life you nearly threw away. So Robard and his men risked theirs to save you. I'm sorry, but I had to. No, oh, there you go. When you have to, you have to, Radzik. <laughs> your father was a remarkable man. And your mother, she was remarkable too. They deserved a Christian burial. Did you manage that at least? No. I was attacked by thieves. I wouldn't be here now if it wasn't for that girl. Girl? The miller's daughter, Teresa. <laughs> the miller's daughter saved you from the footpads? Well, there's a tale to tell your children. I owe her my life. She distracted them and then brought me to Ratai. But without Sir Robard, we'd both be dead. Well, that's what I call a good woman. Hang on to that one, lad. Still, it's a great shame your parents are buried in unconsecrated ground. That means purgatory for them. Be quiet, friar. 
I didn't invite you here to eat me out of house and home and deliver a sermon while you were doing it. If you're so concerned, Father, maybe you should save the innocent souls of these fine Christians yourself. Go to Scalitz and consecrate their graves. I assure you, if you're killed by bandits, your soul will soar straight to heaven, as long as someone buries you in consecrated ground first. If there's anything left to bury, that plump carcass of yours would be quite a feast for the wolves and the crows. And one skeleton looks much like another, so how would we know which were your ordained bones or those of Sigismund's Tartars? Be that as it may, why have you come here? I must get your sword back. Sword? My sword hangs here at my side. No, the sword my father forged for you. One of those thieves stole it from me. They almost killed him and he already wants to go back. Takes after his father, I suppose. Lad. I've lost a castle, a village, silver mines, and a good half of my subjects. Why would I miss one sword? Because it's the last one my father forged, and I promised him I'd deliver it to you. I understand. I'd feel the same way. But prudence is the better part of valour, and a dead man keeps no promises. Aye. A woman had to save his fat from the fire, and now he wants revenge. What kind of fool are you, boy? He's no fool. Henry, you have courage. But you need training, arms, a horse. Or do you mean to beat this thief at dice? No, sir. Please, take me into your service and give me the chance to learn these things. The gall of him. Fled from the enemy, disobeyed your orders, duped Sir Divish, lost your sword, put Sir Robard in danger with his actions, and now he wants a promotion. Sir Capon's right. What you say is certainly true, except for fleeing the enemy. You would have run as well. Believe me. Henry's earned some punishment, but how do you punish someone who's already lost everything, hmm? Courage and blind obedience are good qualities for a soldier, but a wise man also appreciates loyalty, perseverance, and determination. Besides, that was a fine sword that his father made. If he thinks he can get it back, I won't turn it down. My lord, he's a peasant. You can't make a squire of a peasant. Why not? Someone made a priest of a pig. He isn't a peasant, father. He's a blacksmith. And recent events have left me in need of his skills. So, you'd like to enter my service? So, I... Yes, I would. You won't regret it. <laughs> oh, I probably will. I'm doing this for your father, lad. Don't disappoint me. Well, oh, fortune has finally smiled on you today, lad. Make the most of it. Now that I think about it, Sir Hanush, the boy needs training and experience, and you need spear carriers. Hmm. That's true. The bailiff is always complaining about your people making trouble in the camp. Maybe one of their own among the guard might help. It might. In any event, it will prove valuable experience. <laughs> but let's be clear. You're the one paying him. <laughs> <laughs> Captain Bernard, see to his training, and then send him to the bailiff. Yes, sir. And don't spare him. You can rely on it, sir. Don't forget, Henry. Don't disappoint me. I won't, my lord. I doubt that he has much money to pay you in anything because he lost his lands and castle. Pretty much lost almost everything. Ah, oh, watch where you're going. Um, I was just standing here. You're the one that came and bumped into me. Alright, so I have new quests, it would seem. Sir Radzig wants me to undertake training with his captain, Sir Bernard. He has a reputation for being rough, and I'm not sure whether he'll be too happy about Sir Radzig taking me, a blacksmith's son, into his service. In the training area by the upper castle from mid morning until evening. Okay. the training ground and talk to Captain Bernard. Well, where is the training ground? 
Okay. This looks closer. I'm gonna go over here. Maybe there'll be a shovel somewhere in that area. I wonder if I can get through these woods or if I'm gonna have to go the long way around. I'm going to try to get through those woods. Um, okay, go out this way. Say, do you fellas know where a shovel is? I sure could use one. Conda. God be with you, good sir. <clears throat> what actually happened in Scallets? Did you find out what actually happened? Folks say it was on account of our silver and how Sir Radzig sides with the king. How's life in Ratai? How does life in Ratai suit you? I suppose it was kind of them to take us in, but then they just left us to fend for ourselves. Nobody gives a damn about us. Alright. I wouldn't beg good neighbours, but I'm reduced to this. I'm from Scallets and, well, you know. Have pity on me. Parish priest. Sigismund and his murderers took everything I had. Who can teach me to read? I want to learn to read. Who should I go and see? There's a retired scribe in Ujits. He could teach you. Alright. Have you heard anything about those Cumans? Have you heard anything about the Cumans in Sigismund's army? Terrible things. Horrible. I hear they skin people alive and what they do to the women folk. Better take your own life than fall into their hands. Beasts they are. Animals. Okay. Uh. Conversation with him that I cared to have. Scallets, good folk. You all know what happened there. Help your neighbor. All right, I'm gonna end this episode here. I hope you have enjoyed. Please give me a thumbs up, comment below. Don't forget to subscribe and click the bell icon. And we'll see you in the next episode. Bye.